Touch is working and uh, Wi-Fi is working. Hello everyone, welcome back to Ayman the Repair Tech channel. My name is Ayman and today we have an iPhone X has a Wi-Fi problem. The Wi-Fi is not working, it's grayed out and the Bluetooth also is grayed out. This phone came to me from a customer but what I see here that this phone is repaired before. Let's disassemble the boards and check what is the problem. And now let's check what's wrong in the Wi-Fi area. Uh, you see here some components are missing and they are broken. I wonder what they are for. Let me go to ZXW. This is the Intel board. So I go to ZXW and I open iPhone X. Intel RF. It's a VDD main caps. I see here some rework here but it's not related to Wi-Fi. Right now I want to know if the problem from the Wi-Fi chip or from the connection between the PCBs so I will put the two boards in the jig and I will check if the Wi-Fi will work that means the problem is just the connection between the two boards if it's still not working that means maybe the chip itself maybe the power of the chip we'll see and the wi-fi is still off now i'm gonna remove the wi-fi chip and check the resistance underneath i know some people would tell me why you don't check the resistance on the bridge but uh, for faster a troubleshooting I will remove the Wi-Fi chip and check underneath I see this chip is moving already yeah it is my temperature is not high I'm on 250 why you are moving? Maybe you are not installed from the beginning. Maybe you are broken. Let's put this chip first and test the board again. Just make space for it. I'm just mixing the solder with my 183 leaded solder to make it easier to clean and to attach the chip before the Wi-Fi chip solder melted and then I remove the excess Don't ever, ever, ever use a solder 138 to solder components to the boards. I see a lot of people using solder 138 to protect the chip. No, that's not good. The component will be very easy to break. manage your temperature properly and use the correct uh, solder for uh, for correct application come on yeah that's it 
see use temperature wisely and use the correct solder for correct application now let's test it again still Wi-Fi is not working Bluetooth is not working and I didn't check the Wi-Fi MAC address if it's here or no but you can see it's hanging when I press on about that means the Wi-Fi has a problem yet it's not yet fixed so I have to repel the Wi-Fi chip Here we go. The owner of this phone drove 450 kilometers to bring his phone to me here. He came from the other side of the country. He's following me on the channel so he probably will see this video. Mr. Muhammad, this is your phone. He's a doctor. He's surgical uh, face and uh, teeth uh, doctor. And uh, I was telling him that our job is exactly same like the doctor job. We are doctors for mobile phone and we deal with the same uh, tools and uh, our job need precision, same like doctors. I appreciate customers like him, people who decide where to go depend on the value not on the price because most of customers decide where to fix their phone depend on the price how cheap you are i hate cheap because my tools is not cheap my experience is not cheap and me also i'm not cheap so if you choose your technician depend on the price you deserve what you get
all the pads are okay let's measure the resistance or oh, you know i will install the chip uh, if after uh, it's not working i have to remove it again and check the measurement below so it doesn't matter let's put the chip the board look uh, not too much destroyed so maybe it's just a disconnection under the chip if I recall the chip and I install it back and it does work so you don't need to remove the NAND and do unlock Wi-Fi because unlock Wi-Fi is only when you replace the chip but if this chip had a cracked solder ball and uh, we gonna fix it by reballing it so no need to do unlock Wi-Fi unlock Wi-Fi only when you install a new chip new or used from different device I mean battery bowling no need to unlock Wi-Fi make all the pads uh, shiny to accept the solder because if the pad is like this maybe it will not accept the solder from the chip I feel sleepy it's 10 o'clock in the evening and i feel sleepy problem when i get to when i get home i don't feel sleepy at all i sleep in the morning actually because i do edit my videos it takes a lot of time to edit my youtube videos because I want to make the video shorter for you because if someone is watching my video and he not watch it all this is called the uh, YouTube retention if someone click on my video watch like two minutes then closing it the YouTube will understand that my videos are not interested uh, are not interesting to people so it will stop recommending it to new people that's why I'm trying to get it shorter, faster, to hold your attention. Otherwise, you will never see my videos because YouTube <coughs> algorithm, uh, it will not send you notification that I released a new video. It's only sending like 10% 10 of uh, for the people who already made the notification bill on 10% get notified only that's if I <laughs> if I want to say the word this the YouTube will punish me click subscribe and hit the notification bell so you may get notified when I release a video okay now let's test it and i hope it's done yes done here you go there's of course no wi-fi networks because the antenna is not there but wi-fi is working and bluetooth also is working now let's assemble the two boards together I forget to check the IMEI. IMEI is here, that's mean the baseband is okay. Now let's clean the board. Oh my god, what happened to this board before it came here? See the chip is broken, but this is the MOSFET, it's okay.
Yeah, that's here, okay. Okay. Now we connected the two boards together. Let's check them. If I have a problem with the touch, this is because the two boards are not uh, attached together. Uh, some balls, maybe it's not attached to each other. Uh, if I have a problem with the IMEI number, same. Uh, Wi-Fi, same. NFC, same. Now the phone is working and touch is working. I don't know why people hiding customer password. How you would know this customer? If there is a photo or something, yes. And <laughs> I'm hiding it because uh, I see people hiding it and I do the same, but I don't know why they are hiding it. Anyway, touch is working and uh, Wi-Fi is working and uh, IMEI star has zero six hash working. I hope you enjoyed it watching this video and if you are getting a value from the videos I do, please leave me a comment and hit the subscribe with the notification bell so you won't miss any of my coming videos. Till then, my work here is done and I'll see you next one. Bye.